Welcome back to the final part of the show. Dinner time now, my favourite part. Erica, remind us of what you're making. I am making primavera pasta oh, with nice. chicken. So this is kind of messy bit. Yeah. I want you to start by searing the chicken a little bit. So trying to lock in a bit mm. of colour here. It smells lovely. It's already. Already. It does yeah. smell good. And all of this is really pieces of chicken there with um, a little bit of salt yeah. and some oil, okay? So what I've done is left them be for a minute, but I'm going to take them out now and it spits okay. and kind of messes up your, your kitchen what, what a little bit. What pasta is it? We're going to do... Oh, yeah. This is called Casarecce. I think I've pronounced it right. Can, Can you... Say that again? C-A-S-A-R-E-C-C-E. Casarecce. Yes. I say ah. that like as if I'm a pro. Yeah, yeah. Casarecce. My mum is watching going, no, Kamal. No, Kamal. <laughs> it's Casarecce. You know exactly. I'm going to Casarecce. <laughs> So your mum's Italian, right? My mum's Italian, yeah. So, Whereabouts uh, in Italy? Frosinone, just outside of Rome. Frosinone. And she, for, for as long as I can remember, she always used to make these uh, pasta like this. And the, all, all the time she says it, I'll never forget, is it al dente? Is it yeah. al dente? Make sure. And we go to restaurants, and I'm not even telling her she's watching, I was going to kill me. But she'll send it back <laughs> if it's not al dente. It's like, I'm well, sorry, this is oh, not al dente. What's your mum's name? So we can Roma. Say hi. Roma, hi, mum. Roma. Hi to Roma. Yeah. Roma. Uh, <laughs> Right. <laughs> so you've taken the chicken out. So chicken's out now. Same oil, is it? Yes. Yeah. And look, no, I've put no. butter in on top, and no. I'm not cleaning butter. it. Okay. okay. So this is for flavour, all over. Don't, yeah. don't. Uh, we've seared it to get lock in the flavour of the chicken, mm -hmm. and now I'm keeping that. It's, it's really handy for not washing up the broth. I know, definitely. You know, I yeah. love that. Nothing worse. Than uh, that. Yeah, it's so much washing. So then, in on top of that is leeks, and this is cream of air means spring, and obviously. In Italy, you know, they might have a little bit of a warmer climate, so the spring vegetables will come a bit sooner than our yeah. spring vegetables. Yeah. But leeks are all still gorgeous in Ireland at the moment. And they wilt down and kind of help with the sauce. They create a kind of a different texture than other vegetables. They get yeah. nice and smooth and soft. We don't think of using leeks that much. You know, because I always don't. go past them in the supermarket and I never really think of, well, I'll put a leek yeah, in yeah. today. You know what I, mean? I love that. But then if you think about leek and potato soup, you probably love it. Yeah, I you know. know. That's it, yeah. Um, so you could do onion. I just saw the leeks. Yeah. Just coming from Ireland at the moment, I said I'm going to put those in. Yeah. So the leeks okay. are gone in. How long, how long does all have to stay cooking for? So you kind of want them to get soft, mm -hmm. but knowing mm -hmm. that we're going to be here for a few minutes, they'll get soft as they cook. If I had a longer amount of time, I would leave them for a bit more. Um, you, can, you can't really overcook them. Like, they do turn to mush, and you'll yeah. see that. But it's not like overcooking a fillet steak or something. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's still going to... Don't be afraid. Do you cook much, Kamal? Um, oh, oh, oh. Here's Roma watching. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Here's a funny fact, though. I was on MasterChef once upon a time. Oh, oh yes. yes. Yeah, don't get too excited, though. I lasted, like, two episodes. So uh, <laughs> I, had, I had my, my do we dish... Have a clip? I no. Can, no, I, I can, but I can still tell you my dish was a pan-fried fillet of sea bass with baby roast potatoes, uh, ho homemade hollandaise sauce, and blanched asparagus. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow, did you make yeah. a hollandaise sauce on it? I, I did. Don't ask me to do it now. Is that oh. what got you kicked off? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That could have been the issue, though. Oh, yeah, you know. Well, it's, it's kind of like my, you know, I'm trying to impress somebody. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Um, and, then, and then that's it. Then I can't do anything else. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> I'm Sarah, not selling myself. Your whole family's sick of that dish. I know. My <laughs> mum and my dad are both like, no, that's, you know, that's yeah. not good. They're both good cooks. It's, so, it sounds good. Okay, was that, so was that, was that, was that uh, what did you put garlic. in there? Garlic. 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 Yeah, yes. smell the garlic. So I absolutely adore garlic. You know, I'm on. I'm always putting it in my dishes. Oh, Into yeah, that. Smell it yeah, it's strong. <laughs> Just about four big cloves. Yeah. Now I'm putting white wine. And you'll hear a kind of sizzle. I have that quite hot. And really what we're doing is we're deglazing the pan. Do you see that? Okay. That the, yeah. the colour is changing now. I've taken yeah. up like that's kind of brown. Don't I can, worry. I can yeah, taste yeah. This it's not burnt. Do you no. know, it's the mm. flavour of the um, chicken bits mm. that were in the bottom there. And then we're going to essentially kind of make a roux or a mm. white sauce. So we're putting in some flour. So this is going to make our sauce for our pasta be nice and thick. That's and we could use the pasta water as well, that will help, but the, this is kind of an old school recipe. When you were saying Italian, I said, I'm not going to worry too much. It was invented in uh, New York <laughs> in the 70s. All right. A New Yorker went up to Canada and came back down, so it's not really necessarily a massively traditional Italian dish. Yeah. Italian dish. So I'm not, I'm not too worried. So about it doesn't have to be perfect. So just doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> but I don't think they'd be putting a roux in it, you know, as much. Mm. So that's chicken stock or veg stock. Yeah. Sorry, I should mention, you can make this non-meat. Do you yeah. know, it's, there's so many vegetables just going take in Take the chicken out. Oh, exactly. Actually, that's true. So for the, for the vegans among us mm. and yeah. the vegetarians among us, what would what would So I wouldn't, I wouldn't use chicken, chicken at all. I'd do the base of what I've done, change butter for oil. Mm -hmm. And 
we're gonna, about to put in absolutely loads of green spring vegetables in here now. So really nice. just double them up or excess, you know. Make sure you put on loads. I actually skipped lunch, so. You, yeah, yeah, you I, can, can I know you're gonna eat it. I know you're gonna eat it. It smells good. So that is all those Ooh, veg. Great, going healthy in. greens. So healthy. Yeah. So we will balance that now, um, Una, a little bit with some Parmesan cheese. And some cheese, yeah. And you can have vegan some alternative cheese, because yes, you actually can't call it vegan cheese, so it's vegan alternative oh. cheese. Vegan yeah. alternative, or yeah. milk with a Y. Is not yeah, you can't yeah. say, yeah. Really so we have on that. Yeah, they are, aren't they? And mm. I think there was a court case in the yeah. States. I was just going to say, so, so you can't say it. Yeah, so you, you can't, you, yeah, you can't say uh, vegan cheese, vegan milk. You'd have to say like oh. vegan slices, say if it's like in the cheese section or yeah. Yeah. Oh, There you go. Okay. There you go. And All we're right. seeing it a lot now. So any mm. anyone out there can change that, change this recipe quite easily nowadays. Like in yeah, every oh, it is easy to adapt. Yeah. yeah, and actually, you know, I don't want to hear for a few minutes, but it's 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 fairly quick. How long would it normally take? So maybe another 10 minutes on the hob, uh, you know, two, uh, two minutes at the, at the leek section and a bit more at the chicken section, because we okay. know the chicken isn't fully cooked. Now, I'm going to give you some of, of the one I made earlier, which should be mm -hmm. nice, getting warm there. Oh, yeah. And I see there's some peas there as well. And the peas and cream. Oh, so don't yeah. put your peas in, that's really important. Yeah. I nearly put them from frozen mm. or just run them under the top, but definitely don't put them in okay. um, er, too early because they just go brown and peas. Oh. This whole pasta dish, look how green it is. You know, you want it to yep. so creamy. So we have a minute and a half now. Okay, Brill, I'm yep. gonna serve you up some of the oh, other okay. one now. It won't look as great yeah, as the green one. Is like every minute as left, come on, get the food on the <laughs> first quick, 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 quick. As fresh you made. Don't forget your seasoning as well, guys. I always you can use other pasta as well, any type of any pasta, pasta, like pasta. penne or... What yeah. seasoning are you using though? That's sea salt and black pepper. And I always say the difference between restaurant food and home cooked food mm. is um, salt really. But use a good yeah. quality salt, don't be afraid of it. Oh, I like the sea salt. Mm. Not, you know, or the Himalayan salt. Yeah, oh, Himalayan yes. salt's lovely pink, as well. Yeah. Is that the pink one, the pink sea salt? Yeah, the pink one, one yeah. So I'm gonna give you a bit of this one that we made earlier. Yeah, and one minute. We're gonna put some Parmesan cheese and then basil on top, which actually gives oh, it a real yeah, nice flavor. Yeah, and kind of nearly basil's nearly it's floral and citrusy mm. nearly, and brings out the spring kind of freshness. Basil always but reminds me of pesto because I know it's very heavily yes, in pesto. Yes, exactly. This being that's, Italian, yeah. so. It's lovely nice. with it. Slide. Oh yeah, I was going to give you. I was going to give you part of the taste. Do you have cutlery? And just, oh, cutlery. just pretend it's al dente, won't you? Okay, this is the moment. I'm give this you is. Should we get my mum to do this test? <laughs> yeah, bring some home for her. <laughs> oh. Always, always pop parmesan on top oh, of everything, guys. Yes. It makes everything better, right? And we'll give you a little pretty. It's one. good. Oh, is Aww. it? Thank you. It's good. That's there gorgeous. Thank you, Erkat. Mm. And that is it. So we'll get you back in the kitchen, Kamal. What do you think? Sure. I could do with a few <laughs> new fun. recipes, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of running a bit, sh a bit short on them. There's one for you now. Look, it's really easy. Obviously, I have two dishes going on here, but that's it. Lovely. Finished. Well, Aww, thank you so, so much, much thank guys. Of course, that's all we have time for. A huge thank you to our guests, Pat and Faye Short, Caroline Moran and Fanula Jones for joining us, and of course, the wonderful Erica for this delicious mm. dinner. Yeah, and join us back here tomorrow from six, where I'll be chatting to an ultimate love expert. So we'll see you back then. Have a lovely evening. Good night. See ya.